Mother Maria Teresa Sharo's earlier name was Catherine Sharo. She was born at Meggen, Canton, Lucerne, Switzerland. On the 31st of October 1825, her parents were simple farmers. From early childhood, she was prepared for her future mission through joyful and painful events. Urged by Christ's love to serve the young, the sick and the poor, she joined the congregation of the Holy Cross at the age of 19 years. The young community had just been founded by Father Theodosius Florentini, OFM Cap, and she was one of its first five members. She began her activity as a teacher. In 1852, the founder called her to Kur, where he entrusted her with the administration of his first hospital and the direction of the novitiate. In 1857, she was elected Mother General at Ingenborg. To her sisters, she was a mother and guide, and to the poor and afflicted, a compassionate helper. She died on the 16th of June, 1888, at Ingenbo after a painful illness, which she bore with great patience. Now, let us listen to her message for this day. Oh, my dear beloved sisters, and dear friends, I am extremely glad to celebrate my 135th year of life in heaven today in a special way with you. God's kindness has no bounds as on earth even in heaven. My dear sisters, and friends, every year I am delighted and excited the way you march forward, being strong and courageous. You remind me of my patience, perseverance and trust in God in front of trials and tribulations to establish our congregation. When we began our congregation, literally, we had nothing. But I believed that God will provide and I was never disappointed and turned back. As our Georgia's Lord kept providing. My dear children, walking in the presence of God is a powerful means of regulating all our interior and exterior actions. On our mission journey, 
storms were raging. They had a lot of struggles. But soon, the sky was clear again. So don't lose heart, my dear ones. Look up to him, from whom all strength proceeds. Always forward, never halt. Persevere courageously. Faithfully follow our crucified Savior. Do all things in your power to maintain peace. Okay? Always my favorite prayer was, Soul of Christ, sanctify me. And my beloved Lord sanctified my soul. In my sorrows, joys, problems and sickness. And at the end, I had a sweet journey to my heaven. My beloved Lord has appointed me as your guardian in this beautiful heaven to pray for you constantly until you all reach here after successful completion of our Savior's saving mission of transforming and transporting souls to heaven. Thank you for being with me on this choicest day of my life. Our beloved God may bless you with all the needed graces to discover the grain of gold that lies hidden in every person's heart. Celebrate each and every moment with the Lord. I am so glad to hear her inspiring words. It's a great day for me. Thanks a lot, sister. It's indeed a great day for the Sisters of Mercy of the Holy Cross all over the world. May God bless us all.